All right, this is the DeWalt self-drive 20 volt. Two batteries. Comes with these two 10 amp hour batteries. Pretty sweet. You just plug them in like so. We'll check these ones real quick. They're pretty well charged up. Got a full charge on both of them. And this cannon, obviously you know him. He's gonna be, he, he looks really mad because he's mowing the lawn. Okay, and what you gotta do, Ken, you can show him how to start it up. You're gonna push the button and it didn't start. Let's try it again. So he's doing it right. This mower, maybe it's this one, has some kind of problem. What I think is dumb is they have this safety key that pokes out the bottom. So it's really likely that this will work itself loose and maybe come out at some point. So I think that's a bad idea. It should be coming off the top somewhere where it's less likely to fall out on its own. But anyway, the safety key is not the issue and I put a little tether on here to make sure it doesn't fall out on the ground and get lost. Now, he's gonna try and start it. We'll see what can happen here. I'm gonna move it to a flatter spot. Yeah, two fully charged batteries. And yeah, this thing, over in the yeah, try it on that flattest spot. It seemed to, seemed to start a little easier when it was really flat. And I, what I did is I thought, our lawn has a slope to it. Maybe it just doesn't work on a slope at all. Now it's running. It's really quiet, and it's got the self-drive, which does make it easier. Go ahead and use the self-drive and see how long it runs. Okay, so this is a little bit tall right here. It's not crazy. It's, it's a little over a week old, and it's got weeds and stuff in it, but this is nothing serious. Your traditional, Lawn mower, anything with a motor would go through this no problem. Wouldn't even slow it down, definitely wouldn't be stalling. This thing stalls so easy. It is, well, let's just put it this way. We're gonna take it back because it's totally junk. Maybe this one's defective, but I have a feeling this is how this kind of stuff is. It looks cool, it's super expensive. I think this thing was like almost $700, which is ridiculous. It's just not worth it. Go ahead and see if you can get it to start again. Right here? Yeah, I'll just try, try, it. It, try it right there sure. real quick just to see if something happened. Okay, now pull it up into the flat spot and see if that helps. So we have a spot in our lawn that's actually flat. And there's not very many spots that are perfectly flat. Okay, just try it again, don't get stressed out. This is why you pay your kids a flat rate to mow the lawn. Let's give it a second to cool off. When's the last time we changed the bag out? Okay. Let's check and make sure that's not it. Yeah, there's nothing in there. It's like empty. That's not it. It's definitely not that. Let's take a look and see if there's anything. Because, you know, this is a yard full of kids stuff. Maybe. Don't touch it. I'm going to put safety first. Hopefully that works. Who knows if it even works. But there's nothing wrapped around the blade. Everything looks good. It's moving freely. It's level and even. I don't know. So if it has a gas powered motor, I feel like I could figure it out without any issue. But not knowing what could be wrong makes it a little bit more complicated. Got that in there right? It might not be slipped down in the right spot. That's pretty I think cool. That's right. that looks good. Okay, now I'll try it again. All right, the safety key, I pulled it out. So put that back. Again, coming off the bottom, That if that ever fell out of there, you could easily lose it. It's black, it's small. And then if it got chopped up, then it's gone. Unlikely. It would fly out. If the safety key works, it could never get chopped up because it would stall the motor. But all right, see if it works. There it is. He's quiet, but it doesn't have any power. And he's not using the power drive right now because that makes it work as well. Go ahead and use the 
the power drive and see how long it runs. Okay, it's using the power drive now. It died. So, our conclusion is this is a piece of junk. I bought it because I have a whole bunch of 20 volt DeVault batteries and I have these, this one came with two really nice, like, I think they're 10 amp hours. They're 10 amp hours. Yeah, so the two 10 amp batteries. So I thought 10 amp hour batteries, that sounds like a pretty good deal. With the mower, you know, that's, mowers are more expensive than they should be for sure. But it doesn't work worth a darn. So we're taking it back tomorrow and we're gonna get a gas powered motor because that's just a lot more reliable for us. We're gonna not have as much trouble. We know what to do. Uh, we know how to fix it. We have another mower that we're gonna take back uh, and maybe have it worked on a little bit because you know we don't know everything. But one of the drive motors on our other mower gave us trouble, so we bought this. But anyway, our conclusion, DeWalt, 20 volt, don't buy it. Um, if you have this same mower without any issues or you know what we're doing wrong, We'd love to hear about it, so comment down below. But our conclusion is it's going back tomorrow. Thank goodness we can take it back, and we're going to get our money back. All right, we'll get something different, and I'll show you that. Tune in next time.